The Provincial General Services Office Annual Accomplishment Report From January to July 2024 At present, this office has four divisions Namely, Administrative Support Services Division, Procurement and Supply Management Division, Property and Inventory Management Division, and Security Services Division. The Administrative Division being at the forefront in the basic delivery of support services made a gigantic leap of paving the way to the extension of basic services to the employees of the Provincial Government of Surigao del Sur and clientele. With the composition of its support staff consisting of the administrative officers, electricians, and aircon technicians, plumbers, and cleaners, they were to accomplish their greatest task of maintaining cleanliness and safety on the ground. This division, as part of its task, had prepared and recorded the following documents. Incoming Communications 190 Outgoing Communications 54 Office Memoranda 42 Office Orders 9 Travel Orders 38 IPCR 60 Payroll 16 DTRs 246 and Application for Leave 88 And Acted Maintenance and Repair Concerns to Various Offices, namely Electrical Repairs 10 Aircon Repairs 3 Plumbing Repairs 27 and Waste Disposal 264 the Procurement and Supply Management Division This division of the Provincial General Services Office caters almost half of the office performance. In line with our vision which is primarily anchored in Republic Act 9184, and as part of the government's effort to maintain the principle of transparency, accountability, equity and efficiency among all its transactions and processes, we process the following documents. Purchase requests reviewed and checked as to inclusion in their respective project procurement management plan or PPMP. Request for quotation for an ABC below 1 million peso and invitation to bid prepare for an ABC above 1 million peso and serve to registered suppliers. Abstract of quotation were prepared after the conduct of bid opening. Purchase orders were issued to winning bidders. Notice of award and notice to proceed were issued to complying bidders. Throughout the year, in line with other financial departments of the province, this office also served as the province backbone in facilitating purchases of various supplies which was used entirely in promoting all its programs in the front lines. With these, we received and issued corresponding number to the following procurement documents. Purchase Request, 2023 Request for Quotation, 1,534 Invitation to Bid for Goods and Infrastructure Projects, 62 Abstract of Quotation and Bids, 1,076 Notice of Award, 1,000 Purchase Order, 1,075 Notice to Proceed, 699 Conducted opening of biddings is scheduled for goods and common supplies, fuel, oil and lubricants, office equipment, drugs and medicines, medical, laboratory supplies and equipment, hardware and spare parts, meals, snacks and accommodation, infrastructure projects, and motor vehicles. Posted request for quotation and invitation to bid at the Philippine Government Electronic Procurement System on purchase request costing 50,000 pesos and above. And we also posted invitation to bid at three conspicuous places, one at Balilahan Bus Terminal, two at Old Town Hall and lastly at Capitol Building. For procurement reports, we prepared and submitted bid result for goods, infrastructure projects and consulting services for first and second quarter CY 2024 to Provincial Governor's Office. Prepared Consolidated Indicative Annual Procurement Plan for CY 2024, Prepared Procurement Monitoring Report from January to June, CY 2024. Bids and Awards Committee, Bid Opening Activities for Public Bidding Projects, from period January to July 2024. As the province's agent in fostering transparency among government transactions, this office is part of the process of handling the task of ensuring that the taxpayer's money will not be spent luxuriously and extravagantly. The pie chart clearly demonstrated the distribution of public bidding projects from period January to July 2024. 63% of public bidding projects are for goods, while the remaining 37% covers all infrastructure projects. Property and Inventory Management Division 
being in the property custodian of this province. This division is tasked to account all government purchased properties and record the same for inventory at a later time. Since day one of this year, we process documents and perform various property inventory activities. First in line was the issuance of the following documents, to wit inspection and documentation of deliveries. Inspection conducted to 942 reports with delivery receipts of various properties slash equipment, vehicles and heavy equipment on the different mode of procurement, either delivered to our office or the location of the end user. Acted 114 property return slips for unserviceable slash obsolete property from different accountable officers and employees and drop from their property accountabilities and for proper disposition. Acted 253 waste materials report for worn out parts of various vehicles, motorcycles, light slash heavy equipment. Prepared and issued property clearance for 53 retired, 2 separated slash resign, 0 transfer, 4 under maternity, 26 travel abroad employees from provincial government service. Just recently, the inventory committee was created under executive order mandating to account all of the unverified and unaccounted properties of the provincial government of Surigao del Sur. The Security Services Division Our Security Services Division has the following mission statement. To ensure safe and peaceful environment within the area of responsibility in order to establish serenity and self-confidence of the employees in the performance of their tasks and responsibilities in the provincial government. They also facilitate in the preparation for the conduct of turnover of firearms to the province of Surigao del Sur, which was led by Mr. Sabendal and his team of the Regional Civil Security Unit 13. That brings to the end of the presentation. Thank you so much for your interest and attention.